Hi, inspirational dude here in Brisbane. My free success principles, which I want to share with you, is inspire. Live an inspired life. If you're not living an inspired life, you're not living, you're just existing. You're just fulfilling a resume or CV. So live an inspired life with passion. And to remember that first success principle is based on the seven letters of inspire. I is for imagination. There you go, the right way around. It's for imagination. Use your imagination to create the vision of where you want to be in three years' time. Where are you now in terms of your relationship, in terms of your health, in terms of your career? And picture it exactly how you want it and feel it. Make it happen in your mind. We always have enough time to imagine as we're sitting on the train, as we're driving. You know, so every day, picture your vision and let that be your target and let that be the drivers of your goals. So I, imagination, is the first letter in INSPIRE. The second letter is N, no regrets. There was a nurse that did some studies on people that lived lives of regrets as they were dying. And she took care of them for 10 to 21 days. And she asked them each what was their regrets. And out of the thousands of people she took care of, there were three common themes that came up. The number one was living a life that wasn't inspiring, living a life that wasn't their life, but living to someone else's agenda. Number two was not spending enough time with the children as they grew up. Number three, not expressing your feelings and what you wanted to say in your life. So it was never about anything material. It's really about who it is you need to be. Because who you need to be is who you truly are. You are magnificent. So that is in. No regrets. Number three letter is S. S is for service. To serve others. Whatever your talent is. Whatever gift you have. If you use that to serve others, that is the ultimate goal in life. You've reached it. As Deepak Chopra mentions, most ultimate, the closest thing to ecstasy and exaltation spiritually is to serve others with your gifts and your talent. Next letter is P in the word inspire. P is for passion and for purpose. Without the passion and the purpose, you're just breathing. Find the things that you love to do. When you do the things that you love, of course, You'd love to keep doing it. Of course you're driven. Of course you infect people. You make a difference just with passion and purpose. So find what you love. And remember, everything that you seek to find is in you. You have every answer there. It always has been. Always been brilliant. Everyone is perfect, whole and complete as they are. So look within yourself and find your passion and your purpose. Look at children, how they go. So become purposeful and passionate. I is for integrity, integrity and honesty. Be truthful with yourself more than anything else. Hold yourself to a higher standard. Be truthful with your words, honor them. Be integral with your service. Massive, massive improvements happen with integrity. It's being truthful with yourself, it's being truthful with your family and your loved ones. And R, R is for raw energy. Take care of your health. Live as close to nature as you can, eating fruits and vegetables and feel the difference and exercise regular. Taking care of your body and taking care of your health is the ultimate love. It is loving yourself, loving yourself with loving foods. Jack Delaney, he said, nutrition is king, exercise is queen. And those two make your kingdom. So. Take care of yourself, love yourself, love your body, love your health, because you need raw energy to deliver your message, and the world is waiting for you to deliver it. And E, E is for embrace fear and failure. Love to fail, love failure, feel the failure and do it, because failure means to take action, it means that's the direction you need to go. And remember, that fear, it's just a feeling. It's a feeling to try and keep you safe in your safety zone. 
but you want to go in that direction. Whatever you fear, move towards it and see what difference that makes to you. So that's my first principle of inspire with those seven letters. My next one, my second principle of success that I use in my daily life is ask yourself great, great questions. Especially in the morning when you get up, use these questions to charge yourself up to become the power that you truly are. So for great questions in the morning, G in the word great is gratitude. Ask yourself in the morning as you go out and exercise, as you go for a walk, what can I be grateful for? What can I really truly appreciate? What could I appreciate? Ask yourself those thankful questions. Look around you and say, what is, what is great about this? Gratitude and thankfulness. So much power in that. So ask yourself that plenty of times. The letter R in the word great is for role model. Who am I being as a role model? Who is my role models? Who are the people that are doing the things that I love to do, that are getting the results that I want, that I can role model? Who am I being to my children? Who am I being to my community? Who am I being to my co-workers? Who am I being to my lover and to my, all my other relationships in life? So role model, role model. E is for enthusiasm. Be enthusiastic. Ask yourself the question, what can I be enthusiastic about? What is it that inspires me? What is so enthusiastic about this situation right now? How can I become more enthusiastic, even more easily and effortlessly? How can I do that even more? Enthusiasm is the driver. It's pure energy and it's pure love because it's loving what you do. A and the letter great stands for action. Take action. Get moving, whatever you need to do, because you have your vision. You know that you're picturing it in your imagination and you take action towards it. So you're taking the right actions. You're moving towards your dream and creating it. Action, action, action speaks louder than words. So remember that. Doesn't need a lot of research. Life is pretty simple. Even the success principles that we all talk about, they're all basically the same. And they always include gratitude and action. T and the letter great is time. How much time do I have? You know what? We have 24 hours, that's it. That is the way to look at it because in reality, when we wake up, we're filled with gratitude. Thank God I'm alive. But we don't know whether we're gonna wake up tomorrow, so live for today. T, time, 24 hours. That's all you have, that's what we all have. Everyone has that same amount of time. And protect your time. Don't let people come and borrow your time and say, hey, can you do this for me? Use the word no. Say, when you use the word no, you're saying a big yes to yourself. So protect your time, protect your agenda, protect your life. And my third principle of success is called the SOAR method. And it's about cutting through. You know, you have, you have a SOAR and you cut through all the crap that you go through during your day because we are meaning-making machines. The way that someone looks at us, we create a meaning around it. The way that someone talks to us, we create a meaning around it. So use the saw method. And just picture the saw as a, as a tool that you have in your toolbox that you can pull out whenever you're in a challenging situation. Remember, I'm gonna get my saw out, I'm gonna cut through this. And saw is S. S is for strength. Focus on your strengths, never your weaknesses. No matter where you are, you focus. Where is my strength? What is my strength? What am I strong about? And it will come to you because your brain will give you the answers that you need. So picture that, focusing on your strength. A, in the word saw, it stands for action and appreciation. You want to do something really appreciative. What can I be thankful? Use that appreciation again. <clears throat> Who can I be thankful for? What can I be thankful in my life? And that will bring you to the now, focusing on where you are now and not going back into the past or going wishy-washy into the future. And the letter W in the word source stands for what can I do now? What can I do right now, this minute? I can do something. There must be, I can make a phone call. 
I can talk to someone, I can read something, I can step outside and go for a walk. I can, there's always something that you can do. So use the SOAR method when you're in challenging situations. So those are my three success principles. Big shout out to Brendan. Of, I love you, dude. You're just fantastic at what you do, a true inspiration. So my three success principles is live an inspired life and inspire has the seven letters on it. Each of them got their meanings to it. Imagination, no regrets, rapport, respect, role model, service, passion, integrity, raw energy, keeping yourself fit and embrace fear. And then asking yourself great questions. G, gratitude. R, who am I being as a role model? A, what actions can I take? E, enthusiasm, passion. A, appreciation and action. And T, how much time you got? 24 hours, dude. And then the last one was saw. When you're in a challenging situation, pull out the saw and cut through that crap. Focus on your strengths. These are the three steps to happiness. Focusing on your strength, appreciating what you have now, and acting on what you can do right now. So all the best and have an inspirational day. And I look forward to meeting you, Brendan, on stage sometime soon. And love to all of you out there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Peace. Love.